in the third prophecy for 2023 it's a scary one the lord said you know for 2023 i have broken the arm of a king my god my god and i will explain that because i know when you are going to hear that you are going to try to identify but it's a scenario that will happen in many countries many countries when you see you know a strong king being ousted or devoured by a lowly king and i will explain that for you okay so let's start the reading i have broken the arm of a king it has not been bound up to be healed or put in a splendor so that it may become strong enough to hold the sword therefore this is what the lord said i am against you i will break both your arms the good arm as well as the broken one and i will make the sword fall from your hand there is a king right now his arm is already broken but the lord said i will i will break both your arms both your arms stay tuned you will see that that scenario he said i will disperse your people now you can observe people fleeing certain nations it's that's a scenario you know whether they want they don't want to fight for that king anymore or whether the living condition is so bad they don't want to support that king's army it, i will disperse your people among the nation and scatter them through the countries I will strengthen the arm of a lowly king and put my sword in his hand. The Lord said, I will put, I will pick up a lowly king and put my his sword, a divine sword, in that lowly king's hand. But I will break the arms of the strong king, and he will groan before the lowly king like a mortally wounded man. You know, he doesn't say that he's going to kill that king, but you know, that that strong king will be wounded by that lowly king. Like a wounded man, both of his arm will fall limp. His army has deserted in him. And in this scenario, he said, his oil is now unwanted. You are like a madman leading a nation. You are like a monster indices thrashing about in your stream churning the water with your feet and muddying the streams this is a king that is so perverted if he can get something he, he would destroy it <laughs> muddying the streams amen and amen so and this is what the sovereign lord says with a great throng of people i will cast my net over you and they will haul you up in my net i will throw you on the open field and hurl you and hurl you on the open field you know i will throw you on the uh, 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 on the land and hurl you on the open field i will let all the birds of the sky settle on you and all the animals of the wild gorge themselves on you i will spread your flesh on the mountain and fill the valleys with your remains oh my god this is scarier now he said you know what if you don't if you are not careful you will even lose your life strong king i will drench the land with your flowing blood all the way to the mountains and the ravine and the ravine will be filled with your flesh when i snuff you out i will cover the heavens and darken their stars i will cover the sun with a cloud and the moon will not give its light all the shining lights in the heaven will darken over you i will bring darkness over your land declares the lord i will trouble the hearts of many people when i bring about your destruction among the nations among lands you have not known known i will cause many people to be appalled at you and their king will shudder with horror because of you when i brandish my sword 
before them. So now we see a scenario that the Lord will end it up healing that strong king and, and 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 a ladder of his supporters will be so practically afraid and say oh boy this can happen to me too if that happened to that king so let's see let's continue with the reading on the day of your downfall each of them that means the other nation that supported him uh, will tremble and will tremble every moment for his life for this is what the sovereign lord says the sword of the king of a lowly king will come against you i will cause your hearts to fall by the sword of mighty men that lowly king will have those heroes they do in exploit the most ruthless ruthless of all nation you know it will be among the ranks of the lowly king they will shatter the pride of your nation and all her hordes will be overthrown i will destroy her resources no longer to be stirred or modded by the foot of a man then i will let her waters settle and make the stream flow like oil declares the lord when i make his nation desolate and strip the land of everything in it when i strike down all who live there then they will know that i am the lord so this is a country the country of that great king is a country that is practically doesn't you know believe in god really and you know and the lord will use the fall the downfall of that king to bring into repentance and to the knowledge of him that nation you know this is the lament they will chant for her for that nation the daughters of the nations will chant it for this powerful nation and all her words they will chant it declares the lord so for you who probably say oh no i know the kings is talking about remember i said to you this is a scenario that can happen in a lot of countries when you you know when they said the uh, the, 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 the god said i will strengthen the arm of a lowly king it's like a revolution when the masses the people that has nothing when the lowly will take over and destroy and destroy you know the the rich and the powerful destroy the rich and the powerful of nations my brothers my sisters this is a scenario so 2023 could be the downfall of many kings or the beginning of the downfall of many empires let them be on notice upon hearing this prophecy that a wind of revolution of the lowly against the mighty has started amen and amen hallelujah